All right. Welcome back to Eyes Open Media. We're going to pray. I know I haven't been on here quite a while to do, you know, an Eyes Open Media type of video or some type of prayer. But today we're going to return to God's throne room. OK, so let's do some prayers here and uh, let's just return to God's throne room. So first, you know, we want to, uh, you know, ask for forgiveness. Second, you know, we want to humble ourselves and just be thankful. Third, we want to acknowledge the things that are going on, you know, and, and uh, in our lives and just, 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 you know, just see the path that God has taken us, right? And, um, and see where we came from. So Heavenly Father, we thank you. We love you. We adore you. We just open our hearts to you and we open our hands to you that we can be receivers of blessings and prosperity and everything that you have in store for us. And right now, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for waking us up. We thank you for a brand new, fresh day. Lord, we are returning to God's throne room. We are returning to the Father's throne room. We are returning to the Holy Spirit's throne room. We are returning to Yeshua's throne room, asking for forgiveness from our hearts of all things that we have done that is evil in your sight. Wash us clean. Wash us clean from these filthy sins. Wash us clean from the sins we keep returning to. Wash us clean and let us go forward Wash us clean, Heavenly Father, through our through the through the through your Son, your begotten Son, Yeshua, who died for our sins. Wash us clean in that in the blood. For he was the sacrifice for our sins, so that we shall not pay atonement for our sins, or we shall not be punished for our sins when we die because Yeshua paid it all for our sins. This is very important that these that, that people that don't believe in Yeshua need to understand that when they die, they have to pay the price for their sins because somebody has to pay the price for sin. And because Yeshua came down and did it for us, those who believe in Yeshua and, are, and are, can put our sins on Yeshua because he paid the price as the perfect one, as the chosen one. He then bears our sin. So then when we die and we stand before Christ or we stand before the Father or we stand before the Holy Spirit or we stand before the angels, we are sinless because we have a Savior who paid the price for our sins. That's how important Yeshua is. He pays the price for sin. So when, when you don't have Yeshua, you then pay the price for your sins. It's that simple. It's that important. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you that we understand that. We thank you that we understand uh, that, that, that agreement that, that was made between you and Yeshua to, for him to come down voluntarily to make that sacrifice. We thank you, Lord, for that. And we thank you that we have understanding and knowledge and wisdom to understand that that's how it goes. And then that's how life is. And somebody's going to pay the price for my sins. And it's going to be me if I don't accept Yeshua. Because Yeshua is the perfect one. Yeshua is the one who bared it all and put and put all the sins of the world on him and paid a heavily price, an eternity price for that. So he reigns in heaven in his kingdom as the begotten son, the savior, the chosen one, the perfect one. That's how important he is. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Father, for that wisdom to understand that. And this is the same reason why 
The devil uses the blood. The devil uses blood sacrifices. The devil uses everything Yeshua did, the devil copies in his kingdoms and in his secret societies because he understands how powerful uh, what Yeshua did. So we thank you, Lord, for Yeshua. We thank you for the. We thank you for just blessing us every day, keeping us going, keeping us energetic, uh, keeping us, uh, you know, uh, positive, keeping us fruitful, keeping us, uh, you know, rejuvenated. We thank you, Lord, for that. We thank you that we can see the end of the financial wealth transfer. We can we, we're in the we're in it right now, and we can see that we can see the results of it. We can see uh, we can see the the uh, heavenly gifts and see all of the wealth that is being rained down to your people right now. And and this is why people are making six figures in cryptocurrencies, and some some people are going to be making seven figures probably over this weekend in cryptocurrencies, Lord. And other people are going to be making other things in other places, and new jobs, new opportunities, new businesses, new things, promotions, 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 because the wealth transfer for your people has started, and we thank you, Lord, and we can see it clearly now. Many people couldn't weeks ago when when we did this, uh, you know. The first video for for you know returning to God's throne room. Now they can see it clearly because some of them are now worth six figures and they've never made this type of money until they found my channel. And that's because through you, Lord, we did cryptocurrencies. Through you, Lord, we've done stocks. Through you, we've talked about investments and, and currencies and all types of things on the main channel and then also on this channel. We thank you, Lord, for that. We thank you, Lord, for just. Uh, using me and using others, you know, other people that I know that you have used tremendously. Yes, we get a lot of hate, Lord. Yes, we get a lot of backlash, but that's because we reign with Yeshua. And we already know when anybody who accepts Yeshua, anybody who's chosen is going to get the backlash, even if they make everybody rich. <laughs> There's always a backlash. It doesn't matter. And it could even come from the people that you made rich. They don't, you know? So it, it doesn't matter. It's always going to be a backlash when you accept Yeshua and you reign with Yeshua. So we understand that we accept it and we keep it moving, Lord. And we thank you for that. We thank you, Lord. And right now, Heavenly Father, every sickness and disease in my body, uh, the people listening's body, the Eyes Open Media crew members, the 365 crew members, uh, all of my family, my friends and loved ones and associates and business partners and teams around the world. Any sickness in our bodies, Lord, any hidden sickness in our bodies, remove it now, Lord. Remove it now. Send the angels to remove it now. Remove all sickness from our bodies. Remove all ailment from our bodies. Remove everything from our bodies that is not in heaven. And let our bodies work work for us, Lord, with us as well. Let our bodies be, do, just work 100% like they were supposed to. Fix everything in our bodies. Remove all demons from our bodies. Remove all ailments. Remove all sins. Remove everything from our bodies and keep us holy. Keep us well, keep us holy, keep us going, keep us enthused, keep us motivated to read the word, keep us motivated to pray, keep us motivated, Lord, to do these things. Bless our lives tremendously like you've been doing, Lord. Make it even a hundred times better. In the next 30 days, I decree and declare that our lives and our financial lives and our health Oh, it's going to be a hundred times better than it is right now in the name of Yeshua. Thank you. Thank you, Yeshua. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for that. We return to God's throne room, axing, thanking, and believing, and through faith and through works, we are going to be prosperous, we are going to be victorious, we are successful, we are godly people. We're not perfect people, but we're godly people, meaning that when we make a mistake, we repent immediately for it. We don't wait years to repent for things. 
We don't say, oh, well, I did it. Who cares? We don't, we don't act like that because we know that the soul is highly important. We don't know when we're going to go. So when we make mistakes, we better repent for it immediately. And so I thank you, Lord, for allowing us to have that type of urgency that when we make a mistake, we, we're repenting for it immediately and we're saying, well, forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord, through our hearts. Look at our hearts when we ask for forgiveness, Lord. If we're, if we're playing around, of course, you're not, gonna, you're not gonna accept that. We have to do it through our hearts. Forgive us, Lord, for all the things that we're doing. Forgive us for the lies. Forgive us for the deception. Forgive us for the hatred. Forgive us for the bitterness. Forgive us for the anger. Forgive us for the murdering spirit. Forgive us for the fornication. Forgive us for the masturbation, pornography, homosexuality. Forgive us for the, uh, the stealing, the cheating, the destruction. Forgive us, Lord, for all the things that we have done. Forgive us for our secrets. Forgive us for the, the sins we, we know uh, and don't know. Forgive us for everything that we have done that is not a part of you and, and, and separates us from the kingdom of God. Forgive us right now for those things. Forgive us for the adultery. Forgive us, Lord, for these things. Forgive us for the abominations that we do in front of you. For you are looking at all times. Forgive us for the abomination. Forgive us for the cuss words. Forgive us for the for the for, the, for just every single thing that we have done that is evil in your sight. Wash us clean from these sins and never let them come back, Lord. Guide us from these sins. Guide us that we can be that we can be like Yeshua. That we can be like Yeshua, Lord. That we can walk like Yeshua, talk like Yeshua, act like Yeshua. Be loving like Yeshua, but stern like Yeshua. A warrior like Yeshua. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for returning us to your throne room as we pray today. And we thank you for the future that we're going to have. We thank you for our futures. We thank you for the new houses. We thank you for the new cars, the new planes and boats and cruises. We thank you for all the things that you're about to give us, wealth never seen before in the history of mankind. We thank you for the wealth transfer. We thank you for all the things that is going to happen to us and our families. We thank you for allowing us to be the bridge that connects us to our families, to you, because many family members, many friends are not of you, Lord, and we are going to be the ones through your wealth transfer are going to be able to take them back to God's throne room. And we thank you, Lord, for saving their souls. They're not leaving this planet without going to heaven. They will return to your throne room, God, even the most vile, evil family and friends, they will return to your throne room before they leave this planet. And it will be us that do it. It will be us that they look at and say, something is not right. Who is blessing you like this? And they are going to return to God's throne room. Use the wealth transfer, Lord, to return people back to your throne room. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you that you're going to do that. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the, the miracle that and the miracle works that you're about to do in our lives. Touch us from the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet. Get that wisdom in us. Put the Holy Spirit wisdom in us. Put Holy Spirit finance in us. Put Holy Spirit loving in us. Put Holy Spirit, a uh, spirit of blessings and 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 just health and wealth. And, and victory in us. Put the Holy Spirit discernment in us. Remove all evil things. Remove the confusion. Remove all the blindness of the eyes. Remove everything, Lord. Heal all of us from everything that we're going through. And we return to your throne room, Lord. And we thank you for, for allowing us to do that. I, I love I love communicating with you, Lord. It's about relationship, not religion. 
It's about relationship, not religion. It's about relationship, not rituals. It's about relationship, not traditions of man. It's, it's about relationship, not holidays. Now, at some point, people are going to understand that. At some point, Lord, people are going to understand that. At some point, somebody in the church or somebody practicing these traditions of man is going to say, wait a minute, how is this man so blessed? How is this woman so blessed? How is this man able to hear God so accurately? How is that woman able to hear God so accurately? But here I am practicing the religions and practicing uh, traditions of man, practicing holidays and doing all these things and I can't hear God and my life is a mess. At some point, Lord, they're going to get it. It's about relationship and not traditions of man, not holidays, not rituals, it, not religion, but, tra but it's about the relationship with you and the Father and the Holy Spirit. At some point, they're going to understand. And we thank you, Lord, that that some point is coming in the near future, that many will wake up and realize it's about relationship. Without relationship with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, you are not entering into the heaven. So return to God's throne room and create the relationship that you are supposed to have with your Father and with the begotten Son, your Savior, and with the Holy Spirit. And get out of that traditions and holidays and, and, and paganism and rituals and religion and get into relationship. That's how you hear God. That's how you prosper. That's how you bless people. That's how you anoint people. That's how you dream. Through relationship, not rituals, not religion, not uh, all these other stupid stuff that we do on this earth. Yet no one can hear God, except for those who have relationship with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So we return to God's throne room, asking for forgiveness of our sins, Lord. And we thank you for washing us clean with your Son's blood, Yeshua, and through the power of the Ruach HaKadosh, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for, re for allowing us to return to your throne room. And from this day forward, we go forward into that throne room. And the next 30 days, we are going to be blessed like we've never been blessed in the history of mankind. In the name of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I pray shalom. And it will never come back. It will never come back. It will always go forward. And everything that we have said in this prayer is done. All sins are canceled and forgiven. And prosperity is upon us in the name of Yeshua. And help is upon us. Joy is upon us. Freedom is upon us. Relationship with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is now upon us. And we go freely from here. Shalom. Eyes open.